I think is buckled underneath there in three spots. So you have to bear with me for a second while I pull this thing off. I think the rear just comes off. Yeah, it's just got to... Oh, it's been a while since I've seen this thing. All right, I'm going to put the phone down and undo this. All right. Got the car cover off enough to pop the hood, check the fluids, and get in the driver's door. I don't want to take it all the way off because it was pain but to get on. But as you can see, the car cover has done an okay job keeping it looking nice. It still has got the tires and stuff shined up before I parked it. And it looks like the armor all tire shine still kind of on there, which is cool. But I can almost guarantee it's locked if it's not. I'll be shocked. No, nope, it's definitely locked. Now I gotta do the whole one-handed key search for a good old GM classic door key. And I do have lights, so that's a good sign. I figured it would be fine. There's electronics and stuff in this thing but you know nothing crazy not like modern cars i think the only real electronics in it is the clock and uh cruise control prop this up real quick of course it's on that side Pretty sure I just got an oil change before I parked it. Got some valve cover seepage going on that I can see. Nothing crazy though, nothing living in here. That's good. I don't expect any of this to be different because you know, there's not giant puddles on the ground or anything. Yeah, it's still full. Maybe a little lower than it was when I originally parked it, which is interesting because it doesn't leak and it doesn't smoke, so hopefully that's not a problem. Oil is full and clean, just a tad over full. I added some Lucas to it, so be a little bit over full but she's got a a die hard gold what is it 690 cold cranking amp so that's not terrible for a car this size but let's do the deed and see if she goes Ugh. okay Is actually would have been due for an oil change time wise uh, a couple of days ago it's due at $50,899 and it's got the camera in the fingers what it's got it's got 48,151 let's see what happens looks like I stored it with a half tank of gas and finger in the camera again. Perfect. Oil pressure is perfect. Battery's charging. No warning lights. Smoke out the exhaust. Very light skin. Just got a slight manifold leak, maybe.
probably. She looks the same as the day I parked it. Well, it's actually three quarters of a tank of gas. And I'm glad to see nothing's died. I figured it wouldn't. These cars can sit for quite a while before, you know, battery dies or anything like that. You hear the alternator drag it down. Wait, we're already coming down off high idle. Test the transmission. Perfect. Horn still probably doesn't work. Nope, no horn. No air conditioning. I gotta get that fixed. Had to remove the sun visor because uh, it didn't stay up anymore. Here's the cold starting, the engine starting instructions. And Next project for this thing is a new headliner because the previous owner tried to glue this one up and it didn't work. So I had to thumbtack it like crazy so it wasn't drooping into my face while I was driving around. No check engine light, nothing. I turned the radio on but the power antenna is covered up by the car cover. Look at that beautiful door panel. Car is in such good shape. Under 50,000 miles. Really debating on selling it. I really want to sell it and get something else. But at the same time, it's really hard to find these in this condition. This one's not perfect, perfect, but it's pretty darn close. It's a survivor car. Bluetooth. Keep my quarters. For the car wash and vacuum. I want that oil to get up to temperature so it burns off whatever moisture is in the fluid because if you uh, fire up a car that's been sitting, let it run for five minutes and shut it off again, all you did was make everything condensate and uh, it's not good for it. So you want to let it fully warm up. It's like the light of God coming through the windshield right now. They want to let it fully warm up, get everything up to temp nice and hot, and boil off all the moisture, and then you could shut it off. 
Guess we'll look under it one more time. This thing takes a while to warm up. I have the colder thermostat in it, so it only goes to about a quarter of the gauge. And then you gotta wait for everything to heat soak and it warms up fully. Well, there's a little bit of a little bit of something starting, but still solid. I had to get that taken care of. Can say brake lines are pretty freaking rusty. Just from sitting. But that's about it. Floor pans are perfect. Exhaust system perfect. Yeah. You, know, you can can't see anything. Camera doesn't focus. Definitely something leaking on that tire over there, though. Ah. And you see your fuse panel. No cover. Let's just calm down. AC doesn't work because of this. It's literally not connected to anything. So that's got to be fixed. Probably needs a new compressor and everything.